<laughs> Hi everyone. So I've been trying this out. This is the No No. It's like with the 800 series. It's in pink. <laughs> and you know, it comes with like the buffer and the cream along with, you know, a charging cord instructions, even a CD where you can read the instructions on the computer if you don't want to read the like paper manual. And it comes with this like travel case with compartments and a little brush that's in there that you would use to clean out your doodads here. Um, that's your outlet to plug in like your power charger cordy thingy. This is the on button. So you press that, it turns on, voila. See? And then um, I'll show you basically how it works um, in a minute. But because, like, I have on the big head because because there's a big head and small head. It comes with two, like, heads. I don't even know what you call these things. Um, and you'll see when you use it. See, it turns blue. And it, like, jets out. Um, and what you want to do, let's turn it off for a sec, um, to save the battery, what you want to do is when you want to glide at like a 90 degree angle, and I'm not good at math, I never took geometry, trigonometry, algebra, I never did any of that stuff. Your simple addition, subtraction, and consumer math I took in high school. Um, so once you kind of figure out 90 degrees and pressure because when you push down on this roll um what you're going to do is push down hard and then you want to roll because then when it rolls then this thing like I said lights up blue and it jets out um if at any point you're just like skipping it's kind of like jit, jit, jit. Um, where it turns red you're doing something wrong and I had a lot of those it hasn't turned red on me yet um, but I think I may have, like, got, um, some marks on my legs. You can burn yourself with this thing, because that's what it is. This little, like, wire in the middle there, it gets hot. And they suggest that you start on the lowest setting, but I have no idea how to keep it at that. Because I'll show you here again. Like, that would be, like, low, medium, and high. And I'm trying to figure out how to keep it on low. But clearly, you put it on that, and then you go to use it. And it goes, the three bars, like, go up. So, um, I read somewhere here, um, adjusting the treatment levels. This would be, get set, um, it says, you know, the default screen. Okay, like I showed you. Um, press the button under the screen and um, adjust your treatment levels. Press once for medium, twice for high, and one more for low. I think it's backwards because honestly, y'all, <laughs> I have like no idea how to um, get it to stay on the one setting and they say whatever setting was last set out when you turn it on it'll just go straight to it it's weird and they say like i think i read something too is like important notice like don't freak like your setting will change once you start rolling this baby on you um but then i figured oh I'll just press the button and it'll go down but no it stops and you gotta start again um so basically you want, um, well, you want this, like, LED screen facing you. I'm probably going to see anything. You know, here, wait, hold on. Here's my leg. You, and then, so it's facing you, and then you just want to do, like, 90 degree angle, smooth, like that, right? But then, um, when you're done, don't leave it like that. You want to kind of and a flick it upward motion because if you leave it like that you will burn yourself I mean it's not like a deadly burn but there will be like a line and it, sh it should go away <laughs> um 
But like I said, if it's like, if the light turns red, some, you're doing something wrong. Either you're gliding too slow, too fast, um, or, um, you just gotta start over again. Um, I did my recommend and mention something that I did not do, which is to light a candle or some incense, because this thing does smell. I mean, because what you're essentially doing is you're burning the hair. You're, like, crystallizing, as they say, crystallizing the hair. So, um, and you do it, like, twice a week. I guess you don't want to, like, overkill your legs or wherever you're going to use this bad boy. And I did, um... I'll show you on my legs. I did both. I put the lotion cream on the one, but then I'm going to just add it on the other to demonstrate. Um, so the downside is that um, it smells. And you can actually, like, don't be alarmed, cause I've, but you will um, see, like, some steam or smoke, if you will, because you're singeing, you're burning the hair. Um, and it's stinky. And it is noisy, it's not quiet or anything, um, and they tell you it doesn't hurt, and I'll be honest with you, it doesn't hurt, because I was such a scaredy cat. This is the first night I was attempting to do this, and you don't know how many times I had it near my skin, and then I like, backed away, I'm like, maybe I should just test it on my foot, or my arm, or my hand, to just feel it, feel it, and feel if it hurts, and I, like, quickly, like, on a patch of my arm, and I'm like, kind of a bald spot on my arm, but, <laughs> um, I'm like, oh, that didn't hurt, but it does feel like the, I guess, like, the more higher the treatment level, if you will, like, it does feel warmer, I guess it, like, heats up the blade, um, so you definitely do feel a warmth, and, your legs do feel a little, like, sensitive afterwards, like, if you had gotten waxed or something. Um, but other than that, I'm, like, in my room. There's, like, my lamp that I have on my nightstand, and there's my amber light bulbs. Um, yeah, I decided, because I couldn't really see, I was like, I'll just put this light on. Because I do have, I've missed some hairs. I didn't get everything done perfectly because I just kind of got the hang of this. So I figured I'd do it twice a week. Um, I'll do it like some other time um, this week. Either in the daytime or at night. Um, people say that it's time consuming and you have to like really be dedicated to it. I could see that maybe it'd be time consuming because you have to like do it twice a week for six weeks. So you have to like schedule it in. But I mean, I'm doing it at nighttime and it's like, once you actually get the hang of it, it's no big deal, you know? At least not for me anyway, it didn't seem like it, um, once I got over the initial fear. <laughs> but, I mean, I'm someone that, like, cannot tolerate pain. I don't like pain. And I was, like, I was, I was, as I was contemplating this, I'm, like, I'm so terrified. I wish someone could just do it for me so I would know if it hurt or not. And, honestly, it doesn't hurt. So, I'm going to, um, show you this on my leg. Hold on one second and you'll see it. This is my lovely leg. <laughs> Can I turn this on. You like supposed to charge it like five hours before using it and then um then have at it but um so anyway I don't know. But you just do you like how that happened? But there you go. Like you see? Oh my god, this smells. It's gonna turn blue. Whee! I wonder if I can like shoot from the side. I don't know what I'm doing, people. See, it's like simple pimple. All right, now I'm turning that off. Then what you do is you take this buffer, to buff your leg. Cause it's like you know it's a buffer. It's rough, kind of like sandpaper. And what that is going to do, um, 
is kind of remove any hairs that are like hanging around. Um, and this cream, some oops said it comes out fast and it does. I just got it on my upper leg. You don't really need a whole heck of a lot. Um, yeah, you just rub it all over your leg. Like, see? <laughs> Um, mm. I mean, I may have not done, like, a perfect job, but I'm, like I said, I'm just getting used to this. Um, this cream smells nice, so I like it. It's kind of fruity. It kind of reminds me of, like, some of my old favorite, um, what is it called? Perfumes that are no longer available. But here is the Nunuk Smooth After Treatment. Um, and what's good about this thing is, um, after, you know, finishing the Nono, you can apply this. But you can also use this after you waxed or shaved. Um, this cream here, it helps reduce the hair regrowth and density. Um, so therefore your hair will grow in finer and thinner. I think those are the same thing. Ha! So your hair, it won't like, like, um, I'm like jabbering away over here. Like you shave your leg and like usually the next day or the day after, you start to see the stubble and your hair starts to grow in. With this, it will make the hair growth like last. It won't grow in so fast. No, it does. It'll just be finer. And then over time, the hair will, like, hardly grow at all and just become thinner and thinner. So, yeah. And I'm not going to lie. Hopefully, like, y'all can see me. Um, I'm not going to lie. Like, my legs do feel... And I'm not sensitive skin. So my lower half of my legs, they do feel a little, like, irritated. But I doubt that it'll last long, especially since I put some cream on it. Um... So yeah, that's my little video on the no-no. It's not really a little video, it's all kind of a long video. But that's my no-no video. And I said in another video, they do make like a no-no for zits. It's like this little hot treatment thing for a zip, but I have no need for that. Um, and voila! Thanks for watching! Smooth.